And welcome in. It's Wednesday. Thomas Miller on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Glad you're here. March the 4th, and we are marching on. We're going to talk about Venus moving into Taurus, which happens tonight. Yay! So we're going to be ahead of the curve. All right. A couple of things on uh, housekeeping. First of all, our music theme. I have not heard from any of you about the music theme. I had somebody in, I think, one of the comments mention on iTunes, mention that they didn't think so much of the music theme, and I'm like, I'm totally open to it. You know, I'd like to change it to Baba (laughs) O'Reilly. Hey, if you're a former disc jockey back in the 70s uh, and 80s, Baba O'Reilly still is one of the best tunes to talk up, but I don't think that that would be cool. So if you have licensed music that is appropriate for podcasts and have a good suggestion, let me know. And then otherwise, if I, you know, I'll make a call here because I think our show is a year old, the end of this month, and maybe it is time for a music change. We'll see. Now, if you would indulge me just briefly, I want to mention that there is a new podcast over on Subconscious Mind Mastery. And if you're not on our Facebook page over there, I'd more than welcome you to come over. I put some astrology stuff on there periodically. But Subconscious Mind Mastery is a podcast I've been doing since 2013. And it's where I do, it's the longer format. It's where we go deeper. And I did a recent audiobook release with Fred Dodson. And it's a book on time traveling, which is just a really fun, cool book. And it's short, quick listen, and we talk about that at length. Now, back on the comment side, I had somebody write, and oh boy, do I really appreciate, you know, not blasting a two-star review up there, but wrote in, said, don't like that you're mentioning these audiobooks. Okay, I get it. And you know what? I don't monetize this thing. And, you know, I'm up right now early in the morning recording this. And I do get a royalty income from my audiobooks. So when you take an interest in those, a little jingle goes in my pocket, and I appreciate it. So if you wouldn't mind indulging, and thank you for not blasting me on that, because it is a source of my income, and I proudly announce that I have a new audiobook out, and I won't take any more of your time on it. It is there on Subconscious Mind Mastery. Two other podcasts that Majana and I have put out. A lot of people are liking the one we did this past Saturday on just, it's called Back to the Basics. And then if you go back to January, I believe it's 6th, it's called Belief Rappers. And again, that's a chapter from an audio book, but it is, whoa, is it powerful. So just a couple of resources you might not have known there to point you to. Now let's talk about the chart, and thank you for indulging me on that. I do appreciate it. Venus moves into Taurus this evening, all right? We've been, so Monday of this week, we threw down everything, did the big picture. And then we're coming in every day now and just dissecting different parts of it. So yesterday we talked about this very influential thing as we're seeing, my goodness, what all's going on in the world right now. Uh, The square between Uranus and Saturn-Pluto, but Venus is tiptoeing into that square. So that was just a really unique combination. What do we get? Tornadoes overnight in Nashville killing 25 people. And then this continued spread of this coronavirus thing, which doesn't smell right to me at all, but we won't go into that here. So there are obviously energies at play all the time, right? All the time. But boy, do we have some energy going on right now. However, this is going to be great because Venus moves into one of its two home signs. What's its other home sign? Libra. So Venus is going to spend the rest of March in happy land. (laughs) It's going to be happy. And Venus rules two things primarily, obviously, love and money. Now, when we combine Venus with Mr. Moon, we have an opportunity for a trigger of some manifesting stuff, I think. So the Moon will be in Virgo on Sunday. And when it moves into the early part of Virgo on Sunday morning, so so just mentally mark Sunday as the day. So Saturday would be your prep day. Sunday morning is kind of the execution. Catch the energy day. And then Monday we have the full Moon. But Virgo will be in a beautiful trine to Venus and Uranus together, okay? Now, 
a lot of astrologers have been all buggy about Uranus sitting in Taurus. It's going to be there for seven years. It's a slow poke. It's only slower next to uh, Neptune is slower and Pluto is slower. But seven years to transit through a sign. Last time Uranus was in Taurus, the whole United States financial system was revamped after the Great Depression. So a lot of people have been wondering what's going to take place financially with Uranus in Taurus. That's going to be a long game. Venus takes about not quite four weeks to go through a sign. Actually, I think this transit is right at 30 days because it's moving in on March 4th, and I believe it moves out on April 4th. But usually it's, it's three and a half weeks, typically, to transit through a sign. And it is sitting on Uranus. Now, could that kick off some unusuals around money? Yeah, I guess it could. But we have this moon coming up on Sunday, so the moon is positioning. I mean, it's getting ready to move into that position. Now, in between here and there, day after tomorrow, it will be in Leo, and it will be squared to Uranus and Venus. <laughs> Scooby-Doo. So, <laughs> hey, that was pretty good. So I think what we do is we use this build up to the full moon because that is some pretty powerful energy. And let's just realize in that square that what might possibly be there is just anything, any shakeout tensions. So if you get something that comes up later this week, the end of the week, Thursday, Friday, see, uh, Thursday and Friday, and if anything shakes up, just capture that as something to be dealt with. Because remember, we're square to Saturn-Pluto. Now that's the other big energy that's going to kind of dominate March and particularly April is when Saturn moves into Aquarius. That's the other big thematic change that's going to be taking place this spring. But here's a great exercise to capture and focus on this, is start to make a list of every monetary thing. If you had the magic genie in the bottle that was coming your way for the next 30 days, at your service, master, what would you like? Make a list and realize that that genie is real and that genie could actually manifest stuff that you put on that list. That's your homework between now and Sunday if you want to play with this, all right? I'm going to be making mine. You don't you know it. <laughs> Big time. And then we'll start executing that on the other side of this full moon, okay? Deal? Have a good one. If you got any music suggestions, email them to me, info at funastrology.com. Have a good one. Bye-bye.